Hey guys, welcome back to Slow Travel Chronicles. My name is Stephanie and this is my husband Garrett and I have a notebook here so I don't forget what I wanted to talk about with you guys today. And we're really gonna talk about four things. We are gonna talk about why we picked Puerto Vallarta for okay. this trip. We're gonna talk specifically about why we picked this Airbnb for this trip. And we're gonna talk about our likes and dislikes for Puerto Vallarta and our likes and dislikes for this Airbnb. So that's what we're gonna cover. You start. Okay, so why did we come to Puerto Vallarta? So we had just re when we were looking at trips, we were in Spain and we had been there almost 90 days. Out of the 180 days, we were allowed to be there because of the Schengen rules. And so we needed to, to get out of Dodge. And so we couldn't be in Europe and we wanted some place warm because we were going to be coming in January or February. So mm -hmm. we looked at Puerto Vallarta and we looked at Merida. And Merida looked really good, but I'm a little picky, and I'm not a little nice with that one. That's true. Yeah, um, he's not as picky. Um, anyway, Merida, the the Airbnbs that I liked were outside of our price range, so that was one of the drivers of why we did here. And the good ones that we liked that were in our price range were unavailable. So there were plenty of Airbnbs to choose from. We were just a little late to select it. Yes, and on my bucket list was whale watching, and we um, were going to be able to be here and watch the humpback migration, and we were fortunate to do a whale watching trip. There's going to be a video about that, and we saw mothers and calves, so that was really good, and that was pretty much why we picked here. Short story, if she wanted to come watch whales, I had no choice. Um, you'll see in an upcoming video, he gets a big trip, so... <laughs> He, he had to like cave on that. So, okay. Why did we pick this Airbnb? So, you start. So, I go about the most backwards way to pick an Airbnb. I pick based on what they look like and are they in the price range or at least close to the price range because I am picky. And so, I dropped a bunch of them into a wish list in the Airbnb app and then he comes through and Cuts them. Cuts them. And Make her start over again. Yeah. So this had um, air conditioning, which is a must. Mm -hmm. It had uh, two bedrooms and two baths, which is amazing. We haven't had two bathrooms in almost a year, so that's nice. Uh, the price was right, and we were near a grocery store. Near a grocery store, near the beach, near the Malacan. Very centrally located. I mean, you could not have a better location than where we are in Port Bower. Yeah, and I did read the reviews for the host, and she has been great, so the good reviews helped us. So that's why we picked Puerto Vallarta and why we picked this Airbnb. Yeah. A lot of the Airbnbs in Puerto Vallarta are in the mountains on the side of the hill or on the third or fourth story of a building without an elevator. So you'll see a lot of reviews that say, hey, this place is great, wonderful views, nice outdoor patio. Hope you like carrying your gallons of water up four flights of stairs. So we pretty much eliminated anything that required walking up three or more flights of stairs. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. So let's talk now about our Airbnb and what we liked and what we didn't like. So I'll talk about the lights. Well, we just kind of did. Our yeah. location was yeah. was great. We talked about the two bathrooms. The bed is comfortable. Yes. Haven't had a problem with that. Um, we have two couches, which you can't see the other couch. But we don't like to sit beside each other except for these videos. True. True. I got my own couch. I'm happy. Yep, I have my couch. Now, big talk, TV. A big TV. But going back to the couches, they're comfortable and they're not comfortable at the same time. So they, the back pillows are very thick. And so you can't really lean back. So we end up taking them off and then they're comfortable. So it's kind of hit or miss. The kitchen is large. Yeah, no oven though. No oven, we knew that coming in. Um, I would also say this place has great storage. Oh God, yeah, the closet space is huge. Both bedrooms, tons. Yeah, and tons. there's tons of places um, in the kitchen to store things. And the kitchen is kind of like a like and a dislike, really. It has many more features than some of our other Airbnbs, yeah. but it is missing a few essentials, which we can go into the dislike. So from the dislike perspective on the kitchen, it needs a few basics, like it would have been nice to have olive oil when you come when we yeah. got here, Tupperware. It's nitpicky stuff. 
really, it's a nice kitchen, except um, for the missing oven. Um, I'd like more than one uh, kitchen towel. That would be nice. <laughs> Keep going. Just basic things, a colander, measuring okay. cups, measuring spoons, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. They did leave salt and pepper, so we have bought yeah. olive oil, um, garlic, garlic powder, powder. Tupperware. Um, the dislikes for the Airbnb is the noise, and I, I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm a very uh, sensitive person to noise. I'm a nitpicky noise. We're on a major street. You hear vehicle traffic go by, it's not too bad except between about 7 and 10 o'clock at night the locals seem to have a contest about who has the loudest car stereo and they got some loud ones yes i mean loud yes um the other thing i would say is uh the balcony we have a balcony so that's a light but it's not very usable there's no chairs out there um, but other than that we like this place our yep. uh, hostess has been good and I have never felt unsafe here at uh, all. Uh -huh. um, we are above a bakery type of place, and there's people out there all the time, and it's nice. Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't felt unsafe anywhere in Puerto Vallarta. I mean, mm -hmm. and we no. walk around a lot. We've been out of the tourist zone a lot. Not we, a problem. We've ridden the bus to Walmart to get groceries, oh, yeah. and we've ridden the bus to the Botanical Gardens. That's a good trip to go on if you yeah. ever have a chance to go here. Uh, or come here, and you know that leads us into our likes and dislikes about Puerto Vallarta. Um, the weather's good. There are a couple of activities you can do. Yeah, there's the botanic gardens that Stephanie mentioned. There's a butterfly sanctuary. There's a thing they call a zoo, though I wouldn't go there. We read the views online. It looked like a disaster. A couple of small churches. Um, really, it's a beach city, so you've got beaches, uh, restaurants on the beaches. Bars on the beaches. Eat, drink, and sit on the sun. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so there's not much to do. I mean, there are zip lining, uh, ATD tours, ATD horseback tours. So I guess there's more, but we don't really do that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we do. If, sometimes. if you wanted to spend a lot of money and go on tours, I mean, obviously, whale watching is a big draw here, and then the stuff up in the jungle with the uh, jungle trails and ATV trails and zip lining. But we've done a lot of that stuff in the past, and it's just not something that drew us here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the other things I would say um, is we have been fortunate that we met some uh, other nomadic people while we were here, and uh, we've hung out with them at least once per week. Yeah, once or twice a week. Pizza, beer. Games. Games. Yeah. Restaurants. Beer. Yeah. Beer's cheap. It's yeah. good too. Yeah, it is. And. Other than that, I think we like the yeah. place, and mm -hmm. we would come back to this uh, Airbnb again. And yeah. um, stay tuned for an upcoming video I'm going to do uh, what I would do to like take this Airbnb to the next level. Mm -hmm. I like stuff like that. I love yeah. um, house flipping, anything like that. Um, I've walked through the cities here and looked at some of the um, abandoned buildings and ask Garrett how much it would cost for me to flip it. And I just walk away. He does. Don't even answer. Just yeah. keep walking. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you like this video yeah. and see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.